Hello and welcome to TJC Physics. Today's video is part of our series on waves. Now specifically today we're going to talk about wavelength. By the way, if you'd like to explore waves on your own, please note that the program I'm using is the FET simulations. That's P-H-E-T for physics education. And they are a great website with tons of free apps and simulations that you can play around with for all subjects in physics. There's even ones in math and chemistry now too. I highly recommend. I'll try and put a link up on the page for you. As you can see here, we have a transverse wave, which means the medium, in this case, the string of beads, is moving up and down, but the wave is actually moving to the right, and it's moving at speed v. Now I'm gonna pause the wave here for a second, almost like I took a snapshot or a picture of it, and I'm looking at a nice freeze frame of the wave. In this wave, which we call a periodic wave, you can see that it has a repeating pattern of peaks and valleys. To measure the wavelength, you can measure the distance between two consecutive peaks, or two consecutive valleys, or you can measure one full cycle of the wave where you have one peak and one valley, in other words, before the pattern begins repeating itself. Like most physics quantities, we give the wavelength a symbol. Specifically, it's the Greek symbol, lambda. And it is always measured in meters, whether it's a light wave, water wave, pressure wave. Wavelength is always in the SI unit of meters. For our example here, you can see when I bring a ruler in, we're measuring about a wavelength measuring valley to valley of just over 4 centimeters, so 0 0.04 meters. So that's wavelength. In our next video, we'll explore the concept of wave amplitude. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you check out some of my other videos or even maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Have a great day.